Uh, hello, everybody. This is Grant Woolley and Betsy Lee. Um, Betsy, you should Hi. probably say hello. Yeah, I don't know why I said your name here. Well, I'll, I'll let you say your own name. Um, Hi, I'm <laughs> Mitty Warber Jägerman Jensen. Stop. No. <laughs> I'm Betsy Lee, Warlord of Noodles. Um, I don't know if anyone's been keeping up, but Betsy Lee has this nice little series called No Evil that she's been animating for, I think, well, we just talked about it, didn't we? What, 2012, you said? 2011? Yeah, something like that. Yeah. I'm not keeping track. It's depressing. <laughs> <laughs> what? No. Um, but yeah, Betsy's has been... A slow medium. <laughs> I, I think it's almost like a parked car. It's about that fast. <laughs> uh... But yeah, Betsy Lee's been working on this series. I always say Betsy Lee instead of just like Betsy. I always feel really bad. Do people call no, you Betsy? They, everybody they just, does that. They just stick it together Betsy like Lee. that? Betsy Lee. And your last name? Lee. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, oh yes, Betsy Lee Lee. <laughs> that sounds like one of the names from your, your animation. Hue Hue Koyoro. Betsy Lee Lee. Actually, it sounds Hawaiian. Well, I was going to say that, but I thought, it, I thought it was a bit easy. And I was like, I'll make it relevant to, to Betsy. <laughs> Actually, maybe it would be more like Japanese. I don't know if there's a t in Hawaiian language. <laughs> I thought you just sneezed, and that, that's what you were saying is in Hawaiian language. It's the TS. <laughs> <laughs> there is a TS in Japanese, though. Um, yeah, I don't know if you noticed, we'll be, we'll be doing this really casual approach that... Where we just oh, talk, and I'll just so. pull bits <laughs> from it. That sounds that sounds inappropriate. Um, we'll be doing this little casual bit, and I'm not gonna be sitting here reading from my script or anything. I'm, as I'm sitting here totally reading my to-do that's list. Not happening. Yeah, that's not happening because I feel like I feel like conversation dies when you're trying to read something off of off of your little notepad, you know. Um, but anyway, I wanted to, I guess. I guess the the big point of of today's recording, I wanted to talk to Betsy about No Evil and how she finds, you know, elements to put into No Evil and inspiration that led to No Evil and things like that. Basically, just how she comes about to writing episodes and stuff like that. And if I if I can find a place to talk about my things, then we'll do that because that'll be nice to compare. Because Betsy and I. I if I haven't heard her say anything yet, but I can I can almost guarantee that we go from two different spots. That's a pretty safe assessment. But I'm guessing uh, for the most part, you said you pull from Aztec and Native. Was it Native American? I'm guessing. Yeah. Yeah. Well, American. As what did I say? Native American. Oh. That's okay. only one. There's a lot of American literature and that and it's all going in there, although the backbone is mostly First Nation and Mesoamerican. I mean you I mean you pulled most of this stuff from the books you were reading when you were younger, Betsy? I mean I know we well, spoken about that earlier. Yeah. A lot of it comes from just all the literature that I read as a kid because I wasn't allowed to watch T V. <laughs> I feel like a lot of people can relate because of uh, the overbearing parents these days. I don't know. Mostly these days it's about keeping kids off the internet, not TV, and ma letting them watch TV. It's uh, probably the... It's probably the internet they probably do it with the internet. The TV star. Oh my god, stop. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to end a lot, of, a lot of sentences with, oh my god, stop. Where do you Wait, get yours, Grant? Oh gosh. I Man, the second there was a pause, I was like... I bet you Betsy's gonna try and talk about me now. Um, Turn about oh his favorite Well, no, I feel bad because uh, there's people like Betsy who are like, oh yes, I read literature and I, I put these things and it's relevant to my to my work. And meanwhile, it's like, Grant, what do you do? And I'm like, I literally, I think of a funny thing and then my friends and I talk about it and we're like, that'd be funny. And then we just do it. And what you're watching is just... The situations that are funny and we think would work well, uh, like Natural Born Suckers, is, isn't really like Betsy. It's not like intricate, and I haven't like woven a oh, little. Oh gee, don't I feel pompous? Oh, shut <laughs> up! Shut up! It's it's coming from a, a nice place. Um, but no, Betsy has clearly There's a put lot some of thought. Friend conversations that happen. Well, no, I think <laughs> most 
animation where you're like really engaged, there was probably a lot of people behind the scenes talking about the thing and laughing a lot. Because <laughs> no. that's what happens with ours. Yeah. I, mean, I, mean, I see it happening. I, I'm just saying that that's all it is like for mine. It's, I mean, I'm not sitting there. I, I, I've just gotten to the point in animation where I'm, I'm seeing like, like, like for swingers, like there was a series that Betsy did uh, before No Evil called Swingers, and see, like for swingers, did you, did you feel like you were pulling from places and like putting elements like that into your work into swingers, like like you're doing with No Evil, or was it more just like those oh, yeah, conversations? Oh yeah, it was just. Flippant? It was just far less focused. Exactly. And it probably seemed less, well, frankly, pompous. Oh, just it's because... not pompous. It's just focus. It's just like. You clearly put work into it, you know? Yeah, but... You go... Eh. Um, I mean, yeah. everybody's putting a lot of the work of from what they know into their thing. It's just that mine sounds hoity-toity. It's not... Oh. <laughs> because it happens to be literature. No, you're only saying that because I said it with that weird inflection. <laughs> uh, no, 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 no. I would just want to make it understood. Yeah, Betsy's not trying like, to oh, be. No, no, no. It just, I just came from a different place. It just, it sounds like it's big and important. It's really not. <laughs> yeah, Betsy. When I, I mean, we were we were speaking before this, and Betsy said that you know, like she just said that uh, her parents didn't let her watch television for more than a half hour, and she uh, what was that what was that funny thing you said? It was like, but I couldn't, uh, I couldn't talk to the other children. Yeah, I couldn't talk to anybody about anything because everybody, all the other kids were like, they were watching their Mutant Ninja Turtles and <laughs> uh, their cartoons. Their Sailor some Moms. Of had, <laughs> some of them had moved on to watching sitcoms, and I'm like, I don't know what you people are talking about. Do you want to? Do you want to talk about how Joe had to cut off her hair in Little Women? Spoilers. <laughs> wow, you book. ruined That's it for me. Huh? Years old. I'm never gonna watch it. I'm never gonna <laughs> no? read the book now. <laughs> no one's gonna talk to me about Joe. <laughs> Fine. And then Betsy's like, I'll man. just sit and read Little Women again and pretend that there's someone else with me. <laughs> that man, that sounds like a well-adjusted human being, doesn't it? Well, this, this is the person that's making y'all like, series. It's like eh, little kids. Nobody knew what I was talking about when I was a kid because they were all watching TV. So fine, I'll take all the things that I, nobody knew about and I'm going to put it into my own cartoon. And then people will understand me. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to trick people into watching something that they don't know is from a book. <laughs> after, like, what was it? I want to say after stuff like Harry Potter, reading became a little more vogue. So that problem yeah. isn't probably quite as pronounced as it used to be. <laughs> Well, when I, I think was a kid, nobody knew what Narnia was. Nobody knew what a book was. <laughs> they were all cavemen. <laughs> smearing chalk on walls and... You're saying... I you're... was inventing English. Oh my god, <laughs> that is pretentious. You are being pretentious. <laughs> no, I'm just making fun about being old. <laughs> even... Ugh. Betsy does this really cute thing where she pretends like she's like half dead, but in reality she's only like five years older than me. <laughs> A lot happened in them five years. But like, like for instance, uh, Betsy and I were talking uh, before this, and she uh, she was like, "Oh, that was before your time," and I'm like, <laughs> "Like you're literally five years away from me." Like Anne of Green Gables was doing its reruns when I was. That's what we were talking about. Oh, Anne of Green Gables, that's before your time. Ugh. It was like Grant it, it was like, oh, it was almost before my time. That's why. <laughs> I was watching reruns. Betsy's like, I'm not pretentious. If it says pretentious thing, says pretentious thing. Well, there's no pretense. It's 100% pure, honest, <laughs> sincere garbage. <laughs> you think just because you're all uh, higher on a map, you think that you can be all uppity, Betsy? Is that what it is? Yes. <laughs> and. Not only like where you pull things from, but I'm also curious... I was gonna say curious. I'm also curious as to. I don't want to. I don't. I think it's such a textbook question. Like, what? What is your process, Betsy? Like, um, how do you? I mean, what do you? What are the oh, steps that you go through was... from like conception to final product? Because I'll, I'll, I'll tell you mine after if you like. Because I'm oh, yes, curious please. as to how like in depth you. Well. Well, you go first. <laughs> no, you. No, I'm kidding. I start with if I don't have a script. 
And I have no idea for a script. I'll probably go into one of my myth book things to just read things for a while and I'm like, uh, and then I'll be able to make a short story that puts, write a script for the short story that pushes the long story along. Because yeah. while they are episodic, they, I think it's kind of boring if they can't stand on their own in some way. Definitely, yeah. So I'll um. come up with a short story that, and then write an outline to it. And after I write the outline, I write, try and come up with dialogue that pushes the outline along. And then after that, I try to record everybody, but usually that's not what happens. I will record maybe one person, and that'll give <laughs> me something to make maybe sort of an animatic too. <clears throat> yeah. And then I will animate what I can as I wait for people to be voice recorded. <laughs> animate the things that aren't very reliant on the voice work, and then you can have at least that ready by the time people start like rolling in. Yep. Yeah. And then after that is inking, coloring. Usually I do backdrops. The last. actual execution. Yeah. Well, you don't like backdrops, do you? Ah, I hate them. <laughs> oh my god. I it's oh, you're making me so sad. I love I love the backgrounds. Um Yeah, uh, your your process is a lot more intricate than than mine. Or at least the writing, and I think it shows in the in the product or uh, the result, you know. Um cuz literally Isa and I wrote Natural Born Suckers 3 back in January. We were sitting there having a conversation. And we were just kind of like, we knew that we had to write it, and we didn't really have a, a set time or anything. We were just kind of like sitting there one day. And I was like, oh, it'd be funny if, if you know, we did this in Natural Born Suckers at some point. And then Isa's like, oh, it'd be funny if we did this. And I'm like, well, it'd be funny if we did this. And I was like, so I, like, I like just like started typing into a notepad. I'm like, like, this is what we're doing. Like, this is funny. And then we just started like snowballing until we had like the whole third episode. And then we had like a whole bunch of little bits that we'll use later. Um, but it's interesting to hear that that you're like I make the short story and then I make the long story and I'm like we just can we go from A to B? <laughs> it isn't going I from A like... to B. You've just replaced me reading a book with you talking to another human being. <laughs> <laughs> it, that, it's That's kind of it. the I same it's... step. It's just uh, it's just a different starting point. It's the same book, just a different chapter. <laughs> yeah. You talk to humans, I talk to dead trees. I talk to books. Shut the fuck up. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, no, the thing is, is that now I'm, now I'm actually starting to see... Because, you know, I, I didn't read... You know, I read quite a lot. You know, like, but I didn't read uh, things that I... That I didn't, like, so, like, seek out books. Like, you know, it was just, like, required reading. And I, I did enjoy them. And I pulled a lot of things from them. But... You know, as I'm, I've gotten to this point, and I'm like, oh, there's like, I've started reading books by like Chuck Jones and stuff, where he's talking about, uh, where he's pulling stuff from, and he makes a real, he makes it a, a good point in this book by uh, Chuck Jones called Conversations. It's a, it's a big compilation of interviews by like this woman Maureen Furness, I, I think is her name, and uh, at one point he he talks about he does the same thing in his book uh, Chuck Amuck, I believe it is. Um, he goes on to say that he, he like most of what he's pulled from is reading and books and stuff like that and all of the successful cartoons are from things that were sparked by reading so that's where he pulls inspiration from so whenever i i hear betsy lee come up and she's like yeah, i also read and also i'm doing this successful little series and i'm like damn i was like why didn't i read things <laughs> <laughs> um because mostly i just i i mean i think i'm i think i'm good at showing something and execution and I think that came from playing a lot of I don't want to you know I don't want to sound like an idiot but I'll, I'll go ahead and make my make my guess that I, I did watch a lot of film and I played uh I played a lot of games um so I, I got a really a really good feel early on for like what things should look like and how things should be timed especially timing um and then I would find those things I would seek out you know, films, I, I, I would love to seek out films and, like, see how they do things and be like, oh, we try to pick it apart and see how they do these things. So I think that's that might be why I like doing backgrounds and Betsy doesn't, because I'm like, it's just another way to, like, accomplish something. Betsy's like, ew, backgrounds. Uh, 
It's mostly because whenever I do them, they seem so empty. I'm like, oh, I gotta put no, more stuff well, in. <laughs> well, it's definitely it's it's a thing that you do it once, and then you take a step back, and you're like, oh, I see that there there could be stuff here, and then you do it again, and then like you maybe have to step back one more time, and you're like, okay, well, I have to put the final touches on. But I think that's just the flip side of you coming from books and like having all these characters and this like this arc and being mindful of that and me just figuring out that I'm like oh shit like I'm supposed to I'm supposed to like have like a point I'm like oh no or like you don't have to have a point but I would like to get the point where I, I do have a point there's a lot of we use a lot of words called point in that sentence <laughs> um <laughs> I uh but do you I mean do you think that that's a a logical thought or do you yeah, think that that's it's probably it does make sense that me coming from <laughs> books is probably why I don't like backgrounds just because you kind of don't get them in books and from Unless you're um, conversely Tolkien. games games is all about the environment and you said you mentioned you know. like oh I liked games and I like picking apart games and like yeah that's a lot of that is about atmosphere <laughs> So, but of course, people that... would, like, form an attachment to that, where I've formed an attachment <laughs> to puzzles and psychology <laughs> because of what I was based in. <laughs> i tell you what, Betsy. Uh, you do the writing. Uh, you, can do the, you can do the foreground characters, and I'll just I'll make the environments pretty, okay? Yeah, it'll we'll be team the, up. It'll be a master series. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, I think it's so funny. You may, I don't know if you recall or if you ever looked, but... I, I did an animation once with uh, uh well, not with Betsy but of Betsy it's a uh, Warlord of Tongue Twisters or something uh, oh, where Betsy think. yeah Betsy had recorded a little a little a little riddle thing or it was it was very difficult to to speak well at least for me anyway I animated it over and I put it out and people were like oh you you know Warlord of Noodles like oh you that's weird like Wooly World knows Warlord of Noodles and I'm like do you don't you don't think people like talk around here. <laughs> It's astounding that it's just, uh, witnessing that was astounding on my end. I'm like, am I that much of a recluse? <laughs> oh, I just, I think it's just, well, at that point, that was like in 2012. Like, yeah. because I think uh, Betsy and I have been talking since like 2012. And uh, at that point, I wasn't at all looking at like the thing. Because, well, Betsy was further along in her, her exploration than I was, you know, because I was sitting here like, Oh, I'm just gonna make these cartoons, and then they're just gonna be funny, and that's literally it. Like there is no thought to anything. So when people see that kind of back, that kind of like approach to like Betsy, who's clearly got a, a goal or a, like an objective and an or arc and things like that, professes the illusion of having one. <laughs> who who is a very good magician? She's very good at making you think that <laughs> uh, an illusionist. Ta-da. Um, but I think it's funny that people they, they like see that contrast and they're like, oh, like oh these these people talk and I'm like, well, why wouldn't we? Like, I I just I really appreciate what Betsy's is trying to do, you know, and I, I want to push my stuff to do that because right now I feel like I'm writing swingers when I write natural born suckers. <laughs> Someone's got to. <laughs> oh God, yeah, someone has to carry the torch. <laughs> um. If Ragtime oh, you, was I mean, to you... make a cameo, that'd be awesome. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Who is it? Uh, that's my vampire. Ragtime. If you send me that, if you send me or tell me where I can find them, I'll put them in a picture frame. I love putting pic- I love putting like other characters in picture frames. Because it's like, no one ever looks, you know? Because they're like, oh, it's just a picture frame. But like, if you stopped and looked, you'd be like, who is this? You'd be like, what is People what is should this? be stopping and looking at your backgrounds. Oh, you little suck up! <laughs> no, 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 no! Seriously, that actually comes back to um, back to uh, kind of our original point with between backgrounds and not backgrounds, and you liking mm-hmm. them and me not. You can, you can tell when somebody, an artist, loves a thing. You can tell, <clears throat> and yeah, and it makes that thing really stand out. Part of the reasons I hate my backgrounds is compounded by the fact that I'm not interested in my backgrounds, which means I don't have love for my backgrounds, which means that my backgrounds are kind of just don't have that zagazing or whatever. But say yours does because you really like your back doing backgrounds and so you can feel how much that you like your backgrounds. Which is why it's great when you can work together with somebody who has a passion for the thing you don't have a passion for. 
Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I know. I feel like you'd have a passion for it if you just found a way that to execute them that would like that would tickle you in a way, you know. <laughs> Uh, can you, you okay like look I know I know it sounded forced but come on I was really trying really hard <laughs> um, but no what I was uh, what I was gonna say is like I just got the jitters just talking about backgrounds because I uh, you know I love animation as well like, animation it's the same thing because I think the anime the the character animation can also fuel the the entire environment and the feel um, but man I uh, I just, I just, it's really easy to, like, what's the quickest way to, to get a, a, an audience member to get, come to your work, you know, like, make it look inviting, like, when I was doing that, that, um, that thesis animation, that, the, the regarding Pi one, like, I don't know, like, the whole thing, it, it I'm, I'm trying to make it, like, look warm and inviting so that, you know, the viewer will be like, oh, it's a cute little bakery, so that whenever I do pull that switch, you know, and it goes to, like, the, the really dark red setting, that it's a very, it contrasts very hard. And uh, very good use of the tool. I'm actually gonna. I'll show you, Betsy. There's a background that I'm working on for Natural Born Suckers. I've been doing a lot of background tests, and I'll show you after this recording because I'm so excited. Um, I kind of want to do the tongue twister thing, just in case people don't know what it is. Oh well, well then go ahead and yeah. So the, so Betsy uh, did did this thing. Do you still you still know what it was? Oh yeah. What a wonderful bird the frog are. He make got no tail almost hardly. When I walk him hop, when I hop him jump, when I'm sit him sit, I want to make got almost hardly. <laughs> and that's what I animated uh, Betsy Lee saying and then I animated my characters trying to say it and then my he character can died <laughs> you, you can't say it now though you, you, you can though <laughs> you, 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 you sent me a file of you saying it like a long time ago did I? well that was like 16 years ago Betsy's like you remember that thing you did like 16 years ago Grant and I'm like what? <laughs> we used to have it make a game of trying to say that as fast as humanly possible in high school Anyway, that's that's the thing. That was your, Moving your on. friends who <laughs> <laughs> your friends that couldn't talk about the television. Oh, I had friends in high school. <laughs> Did you? Yeah. Were they they paid hourly or monthly? Um, case by case basis. <laughs> oh shit! I paid them in pennies that I found on the ground. I paid them in small spiders. Uh, it's a it's a currency in Montana. You know, I, yeah, I don't, I don't want to hang on the backgrounds for too long. I think, but I, I think it's interesting that we went there. But they're great for conveying information. <laughs> Even though they're standing um, still, they still convey information. Well, yeah, but I, I think it's uh, a Important funny bit is whenever <laughs> back in like 2012, it was the and the raven brought fire, which uh, which I think there were a lot of things going on in the background. There's just it's very atmospheric. And I remember watching it, and I was like, oh, this is Betsy. And it was, like, one of the early ones I'd watch. And I was like, oh, this is Betsy Lee's, um, I guess this is her style. Like, it's just, like, this kind of simplistic background. Oh, so that was making backgrounds in Flash. <laughs> well, I make my backgrounds in Flash. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, you have a... That's not a jab. Come on. Um, it was unwieldy in CS3. That's that's all I'm gonna say. CS3 is an animal. Like I, uh, I'll put here. I'll put up a background by Betsy and myself from the same time period on the wow. screen right now. But no. So when I was looking at that background, and then back in the day, I remember thinking like, "Oh, that's Betsy's style." Like, okay, cool. I'm sure she'll. Uh, I'm sure she'll add on to it and like keep doing stuff in the future. And then, like, recently I went back and watched, and I was like, I'm like, yeah, the coloring and the lighting's better, but it's, like, the same general... You just, like, you just kept on trucking with those backgrounds, Betsy. They're the same as they ever were. <laughs> uh, I, think, I think it's great, though. I love that consistency. Um, I also... I'm in an area that is kind of empty. <laughs> so emptiness might just be my thing. <laughs> That sounds so edgelord. You sound like the edgiest person. Okay, the uh, negative space. That that's less. Why don't you emo. say like open spaces and fields? I thought yeah, yeah, negative space. I thought was the artistic uh, uh, artistic term. But go off, I guess. I don't think anybody with a even a, a loose grasp on art artistry is going to be watching this video. <laughs> Oh, that's not fair. I'm kidding. Um, I feel like a lot of the, the younger animators will watch it, though. So, 
that's what I that's who I'm that's who I'm making these things for is a younger artist or really anyone who really just wants to hear you or I speak to each other that'd be that's, <laughs> that's the demographic <laughs> all um, five of them all 12 of my subscribers and all 14 of yours <laughs> <laughs> Can you tell whenever I like leave a point and I have to like find the next point? Can you can you tell when do, that happens? Do, 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 <laughs> is the um, is the correct uh, melody for that, Grant? <laughs> oh well, thank you. Well, I wouldn't know, Betsy, because that was before my time. I'm a young <laughs> sapling. I'm not some I'm not some haggard. Are you dead kidding? Person. Jeopardy's a universal con- constant. That's Jeopardy, right? No. Okay, yeah. And for a second, I'm okay. like, did I say no, the wrong is. game show? <laughs> <laughs> I, I think it's fun. I just I like that I just realized that swingers is exactly what natural born suckers is, and like that leads me to believe like should I put effort into trying to mold natural born suckers into having like a plot, <laughs> kind of like what well you know that you know how like Steven Universe was like, and I didn't I didn't watch Steven Universe, but uh, I I kept up enough to know that it was going nowhere for a while, and then it started like slowly. They were like, oh, we should probably like do something. No, 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 this is, this is actually really, it's a fascinating thing, it was, it's, it's a lot of uh, cartoons that wanted to have a plot did this thing, and I call it Trigun Approach, because Trigun also <laughs> did this thing, it's, you fool people into thinking it's not episodic by doing things that stand alone long enough <laughs> so that the network allows you more episodes and then you do the plot <laughs> because you for think, a time is that your conspiracy theory no 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 for a time uh, it, this is a particular problem with action shows they would get cancelled like right away in oh what is it uh, 2011 2010s that kind of time period all of the action yeah. shows that tried to start they immediately died and I think people uh, in particular ones wanting to pitch shows to like Cartoon Network noticed that Cartoon Network wanted doofy kind of silly funny shows that had episodes that stood on their own Mm -hmm. and uh, so they could show them any old time out of order probably. So people who wanted to do episodic shows I feel like they they uh, made a certain amount of standalone ones without a plot so that they could have their plot later. Yeah. Um, well, I feel like you know I'm not competing with you know my my network. I'm just uh, I've just now walked. In. Imagine this, like so. Imagine Betsy Lee's in a room and she's been sitting there like writing in her writing on her little notepad for however long, a few years now. And like I just wandered in because I figured out there was a front door and like I've been sitting on the front porch for four years and I was like, oh, there's a room in here. And then like next to Betsy, there's like a notepad with another. I'm like, I can I can also write things. Wow, I didn't even know that was a thing. So that's the that's the analogy I'm going with. Oh, uh, okay. I'm sorry if uh, I derailed you, but I. I'm super fascinated by all the tips and tricks you do to get around uh, the, the big authority networks. figures and ridiculous <laughs> exactly. barricades that are put in place. No, I I think it's I think it's relevant. I think it's interesting. I don't know. You never you never derailing Betsy. Shush shush. Uh, mm. I think it's terribly interesting because I'm I noticed the I noticed the result. I just didn't know the. The background, or I had never thought to to think that far, you know, <laughs> which is unusual because usually I overthink things to hell and back. The old million dollar question: Did you ever think that natural born, um, natural born, sorry, no evil would um would get to where it is now? You think people would watch that when you started it? Not really. I'm astounded w- uh, by the things <laughs> that people actually are interested in, mostly because the stuff that. I thought, oh, this is really great that I really like and I'm really proud of. Will it inevitably be the thing that where people went, oh, she didn't try as hard with this one. <laughs> you suck. What are you talking about? <laughs> people feeling the love that you have for a thing only goes so far. No, but I'm, I feel like you've not even... And the, oh, yeah, and the things that I'm like, oh, I don't feel great about this and it are the ones that people adore, too. So it, there's a there's a balancing <laughs> out effect. 
<laughs> it's funny that you say that. Um, I don't know if you've noticed the the Bob Ross animation that I made. Yeah, it, it did quite well. And the I know I know it, it's very topical, but it wasn't that topical whenever I made it. You were part of what made it a meme. No, <laughs> I don't I don't think that's the case. But I appreciate it, <laughs> Betsy. You were part of the collective that added to oh, the meme. Oh gosh. The thing is that I made that, and I literally made that in like 16 hours. Like I sat down and I was like, I did it in two sittings. I was like, I'm just gonna animate. And I'm like, bump it. So I just like pumped it out, and it's the most popular thing by like a long shot on my channel. I'm just sitting here like, I didn't put effort into that. Why does everyone like it? It's the same with that steamed hams meme that I've done, and I'll be like, that's a meme. But that is a meme um, though. Yeah, that is a hot meme. But the Bob Ross one, it wasn't that much of a meme. Uh, and I'd taken it to a place where it wasn't simply a meme. So it's just interesting to to see that the thing that you put six months into, <clears throat> Natural Born Suckers uh, 1 or 2, um, doesn't do nearly as well as, like, the thing that you put 16 hours into. So it just goes to show, kids, don't don't invest time into anything that you think's worthwhile. Just go ahead and pump. I'm kidding. That's, that's very negative. No, that... <laughs> That's uh, that's the difference between something with lasting quality and something that's gonna burn out real quick. Mm -hmm. Because if you keep at it, your your natural born circus thing that you put a lot of time and effort into probably would stick around longer. I think it'll unfold into something nice. Uh, that's why I'm not gonna sit here and be like, time to bail because the first two episodes didn't do fantastic. Oh yeah, that is one thing. The 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 second episode, the oh, two to five see. doldrums. Sequelitis, baby. <laughs> I don't know if... I actually haven't seen any of his Aaron Hansen sequelitis things, so I don't know the context of that. I was using the word. Okay. <laughs> Just that the second <laughs> that, one's that not nearly as good as the first one. That is the only time I've heard that term, and I'm like, uh... No, I, I feel And like, I've never um, actually pursued the context or the meaning behind it. <laughs> no, it's an, it's an actual thing. Like, it's, it's not just uh, exclusive to his videos. Um... It's like, have you seen the Indiana Jones movies? Sure. Do you say sure or do you say yes? Yeah, sure. <laughs> um, Temple of Doom is, is, is awful, and no one likes Temple of Doom. But Raiders is like the best film of 1981, right? Right, I guess. So it's like the same thing. Well, yeah, because it, it, it loses the feel of the first one, and then they lose contact, and it's not nearly as good as the first one because it, it forgets what the first film was and what, it was, what the feel was and everything, and it's a different time, you know? Yeah, that might be part of the weird psychology. After you do an episode, your first episode is probably going to have a lot of a reaction, especially if you have something there. The second episode, yeah. where you get things going, isn't going to have, isn't going to have the reaction. Neither will the third, maybe, or at, at least until the fifth, probably, where where it will begin to pick up again. Yeah. And don't be fooled. So I tell people, don't be fooled by the reaction of the second episode because your first episode is your eye catch. So it's going to catch more eyes. Your second episode is when you start along the path and it's not going to be ha have as much of a reaction. So don't yeah. don't, don't get discouraged by second episode. <laughs> well, good. I'm uh I'm glad it's not just me. <laughs> No, I'm, I'm, I'm. I expect it happened. It happened to both No Evil and Swingers. Well, if it if it helps if it helps anyone sleep, we wrote the third episode, and I took into account like everything that I thought was wrong with the second and the first, and I I'm now I have a clear objective of where I want to go and everything. So I'm actually oh, putting yeah. thought into that, and that's, I feel a lot better about nice this third one. About being an internet creator, you can actually read direct feedback without being. <laughs> Baffled throwing a wrench by, into production and being by, like bent over. What focus groups? It used to be the way with well, it's just like statistics TV. that aren't even held by anything, you know. Yeah. It's people in suits that come up and they're like, "Hey, um, we read the back of a milk carton and it said that, you know, if we did this, this, and this, it would work." And I'm I'm sitting here like, "You're basing that off of like what you read off the fucking the side of a Fruit Loop? Like, what do you mean that we if we do <sighs> this, this will work?" I'm having flashbacks Instead of people to who my, were like, my animation thesis, quote unquote, <laughs> which Whoa, wasn't did you, structured did you post like it? yours. What? Did you post it? No. No one is ever going to see that garbage <laughs> if I can help it. No, it was, oh, it was bad. You talk about, well, we didn't do it the same way I guess you did. 
in that we weren't allowed to do an animation by ourselves. Oh, gosh. You mean like we, a group effort? Yeah. And once more, we had to pitch our stuff to a teacher, and the teacher Ugh. would pick the winners, and the losers had to join the winner's team. Oh, oh, oh that's cringy. Everybody. Wait, didn't you... Didn't you say? Didn't you say once that that you that I think I think it rings a bell. You I've talked about into this one. Group. I've talked about it yeah. and how it's like, oh, it was a Ooh. nightmare, and nobody had a good product. <laughs> I think we were the only group with an actual finished product, because we headed off the stupid at the beginning, and right. like all of us girls in the corner that are all friends with each other, going, okay, this is stupid. We know this is stupid, and ev- if everybody loses, if um. Whoever wins this, we can't hold it against them. We're not writing. We're not going to be writing our, 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 our master our masterpiece. Opus. We're going to write yeah. to please the teacher, and it will be garbage. But we will get through this. Oh gosh, that's so unfortunate. And it was bad. Yeah. Well, that's. I mean, that's what happens, man. It's... And that, and and I know why they did it. They did it so you would get used to what it's like to be in production. But we never really got to do a final animation that right. was like a thesis animation we had this kind of this lousy tape piece together of learning yeah. what reality is <laughs> they're like Dang. why are there shoe polish marks on it you're like i'm just trying to make it work okay <laughs> it's duct tape together no it's it's funny that you say that because actually the way we did at the at the university like by the by the way peeps i just graduated um so that's what we're talking about congratulations thank you oh danke um we just uh we just graduated and we had to do a, a thesis like animation and we've been doing it since august and it's uh was it it's may right now so that's it, it was finished last month so that's how long it took and the way you start is it's it's kind of like betsy's in that you you get like maybe a couple of ideas together and but we didn't do group projects it was just everyone did their own which i i, I feel like it should have been an option but anyway so you get a couple of ideas and you pitch them to you get this you get three <laughs> committee members right so you get to you get to pitch it to three people, and I'm not gonna say that I, I dislike that format, but it, it didn't quite work for me. Um, I liked it. <sighs> I liked it when it worked for me, and when it didn't work for me, it was awful. <laughs> um, Isn't that how life is? It's it's ooh it was ooh it chapped me so hard. Anyway anyway, um, yeah that that was the product of four people, not just me. <laughs> Because it was gonna be, it was gonna be a, uh, quite different from what it what it ended up being. Like there was supposed to be uh, a couple more scenes, and it was supposed to be longer and like be a little more, a little more, like a little more coherent. I want to say, but that's the problem with uh, pitching to a committee. And I think I think Betsy will find the same is that you're you're like, oh, I want, I'm gonna do this thing, and they're like, well, what about this? And they take it off into another direction. You're like, no, like this is the the point is this, and they're like, but no, what about this? And I'm like, this is the problem with the fucking committee. Yeah, we ran into that exact same thing. Oof. In that, and I can only they imagine. Didn't understand. That's one of the re- where I get the feeling that uh, I'm just not good with words and describing what's going on in yeah. my head because this person just does not understand what I'm saying. Exactly. Well, it's just because... Let me just do it and you will understand! <laughs> exactly. Well, I mean, you can explain it as, as the best that you can, like uh, the, the finest wordsmith in the world, but if the person that you're speaking to is a fucking tree stump, then it, it's not going to make any difference whatsoever, and that's what that's what bothers me, man. <laughs> like, or if they don't care, like, and then you're you're stuck in a group with them, like, I, that must have been nightmarish. Like, I can't imagine being stuck in a group with other students that, that you know, that you, I don't want to say, like, that you... Oh man, I don't want to um, be uh, since offensive. Since we had that packed at the beginning, um, uh, our group was pretty good. Now we were all at very different skill levels. That was oh, maybe yeah. the that was maybe the area that was kind of meh, because I had to give some uh, a, a job to someone that maybe and understand that they're only going to be able to do this well just because of reasons. who they are as a human being. <laughs> maybe they. The, the sad part is. Maybe this person came to this school to do 3D animation, and they're in my group, and most everybody else does 2D. Yeah. That ran, ran into that problem. Oh, jeez. <laughs> and everybody is... And when you got put into the group, you didn't have all of the skills necessary for to do animation, because someone may be 
maybe there's this one group that's comprised of all of the people that are great at audio but can't do visual, but they're all <laughs> in the same group. It, it was yeah. kind of a it was kind of a mess in that regard. And, I feel but like it, we didn't have any infighting, really, just because we'd made that pact at the beginning. And that's why we're the only ones that finished. <laughs> <laughs> and that was Even the though our victory. Pr- finished product was trash, we at least <laughs> finished. <laughs> uh, they actually like, finished. They finished. I graduated before the stupid thing was done. <laughs> that's how poorly this was managed. <laughs> Wait, how can you graduate without finishing your thesis? It was... Uh, yeah. We didn't exactly technically have a thesis, but that was the oh, closest God. equivalent to your thesis. We all had to take this production class, and it was, it was like they came up with the uh, the idea the last Tuesday and decided to implement <laughs> it. <laughs> they're like uh, Betsy's like walking up to the stage to get her diploma, and they're like, "Oh, gee, Betsy, we just implemented this thing," and she's like, "Oh, right now, come on, I'm I'm on stage." I'm I'm already done. So I was kind of grandfathered into not needing to be done with uh, it, but I was still yeah. the leader of the stupid group, which is <laughs> Good luck kids. I hope you do well without me. <laughs> oh my god, shut up. I've been uh like I said, I've been speaking to Betsy for a good number of years and uh the having the last two hours to talk with her, I uh <laughs> I'm just trying to imagine her as the leader of my group. <laughs> That'd be a wild ride, Betsy. Oh, it was fun to work with. The, that was that was the saving grace. Everybody I was working with was a blast. Yeah. And it was... I honestly wish we'd have done... There was another girl who was in the class and probably was... I, I kind of liked her idea better than mine for this pro- particular project. Like, we didn't know exactly how this was going to unfold when we were told, come up with a story to animate. We thought we were all going to be doing our own thing when we were told this, I think. Yeah. And then we come back and realize that it's a contest, and we're like... It's a gladiator arena. Uh, uh, um, I didn't plan for that. <laughs> <laughs> I guess maybe we had some kind of notion, but, like, ugh, I don't know. But there was yeah. another girl whose story I think was better structured for to do that. But she ended up you... losing because she's she's shyer than me, I think, was the only reason. Yeah, that which she is, wow. Well. <laughs> <laughs> if you can imagine it, ladies and gentlemen. There was actually one group that ended up doing one person's story and then another person led the team. That was weird. Which is weird because weird you happened. think that the person... Yeah, that's, what a, what a, that's a hell of a class. It was wacky. It was a learning experience. Do you um? I'm curious. Do you like? Do you keep a journal, uh, like, or either a a personal one or a, a project uh, journal for each project that you do? No, or do you I should. Not even bother. Yeah. I uh I started keeping one probably like a year and some months ago, and I, every time I do a project or every time something notable happens, I'll make a note, and that therefore I can like go back later and be like, ah oh, yes, this is what happened. If anyone asks. Okay. The closest uh, thing that I had to that is doing, just is having sketchbooks filled with partial relevant. ideas. Yeah. <laughs> with maybe some notes that I can't read my terrible handwriting sometimes, so I hope that's useful. I like the way you're like, I and hope that's I, useful, even though I can't read it. I did the dumbest thing uh, at the end of college. This is this is how college college kind of left me thinking that everything I I knew before college was wrong. Oh. <laughs> not not clever. So, and I was like, I know I'm attached to the everything that I used to know in high school, but college kind of leaves me with the suspicion that I was completely wrong. So, I'm going to get rid of everything from high school. Oh. All of my sketchbooks from high school, I trashed them. And after oh, reassessing later, I was like paying attention to the college stuff and and then watching the real world happen. I go, no, that was stupid. I should have kept those. Hell I yeah. maybe not oh had. Oh my gosh. I mean, I mean, I might have been a little bit wrong, but I probably wasn't a hundred percent wrong, and I could use having some of that information back again. Well, it's just it lets you know more about what what you were thinking and like where you were and like where you've come from, and you can use it to like further yourself uh, down your little path. You know, well, that's just how I feel about it. I don't know if you're. If you're sentimental like that. Are you a sentimental person, Betsy? No. (laughs) No. One one time I shot my brother. (laughs) Only with a rubber band. (laughs) I guess, yeah, I would say don't underestimate your young brain. 
<laughs> it might have valuable stuff, even though it's mired in inexperience. I remember I have yes. one sketchbook from high school that I still have that that escaped the purge, and I read through it and I go, <laughs> some of this is still funny. Yeah, exactly. It might not be great structured, but it's still funny, and I wish I had access to some of that funny because no one gets to see that funny ever. Exactly. No, that's that's what I was about to say is that even if the logic isn't there, like the the perception is like you're you're looking and visualizing, and you can see like the those foundational years and stuff like that, and you can actually take some of that and sure it might be a, a different language now, but you can translate it into the present and be like, oh yes, I can use this now, and uh, I'm sad that you it's burnt you. Still... I, I said burnt. I don't know what happened to it. I'm sad that you killed your books, Betsy. You make me sad. I actually, the funny thing is, I don't remember exactly doing it, which makes me think, I'm like, I'm pretty sure that I got pissed off and was angry about having these things that were not up to par, according to my brain at the <laughs> these time. These children which means writings. Me, and since I cannot find them, that probably meant I threw them away. <laughs> That's another thing that happens. You lose some of your memory when you get older. Don't you you sound things. like you make it sound like you're 50. Could you not? <laughs> well, if you're not paying attention, you're going to lose information even if you are not 50. Relatively young. I love that you tease your audience. Like I love when I'm I'm in a stream with like with Betsy when she's when she's going and I'm I'm listening to her talk and she reads the comments. And someone's like, "Oh, Hello? is this happening?" Like, "Oh, what's this a question about the series?" And she'll be like, "Um, that's coming up." Or like, "Oh, that's that's in, I can't tell you." And I'm like, "Ooh, what a tease!" Ooh. I don't e actually know even what is and is not a tease anymore, because I just I, at this point I'm going, "I'm not just I'm just not even going to say anything because the things that I think are reveals, people don't <laughs> care about. Uh, that's that same thing. And something that I thought was innocuous and wasn't that important when I actually." clarify it people f go oh that's what that meant and I'm like that was that was that important to people okay <laughs> <laughs> I, th I think it's I think it's great whenever because uh when I'm writing something and I'm like oh that won't that won't stick or this won't stick or you know something that won't happen the way this will happen or you know you make little assumptions and then whenever the thing comes out the thing that you thought was going to be the the big punch ends up being nothing, and the thing that was nothing is the thing that everyone clings to, like the give me back my fish. <laughs> yep. That one astounds me. For those of you who don't know, uh, one of Betsy's characters, Calamity, uh, says, give me back my fish to another character, and it's the, the inflection's really funny, and I'm sure Betsy didn't know that, that was going to catch on, but that's probably what people ask her to say the most. It's ridiculous. I'm like, <laughs> Way to make me feel like I really don't understand human beings. <laughs> it's very... It's humbling, let's say that. Keeps you perspective. That's why she draws... Keeps you on your toes. Animals. <laughs> yeah. That's funny, though. I love that so much. That's why Betsy draws animals, is because she doesn't understand the inner workings of human beings. <laughs> BS. I'm kidding. I think there's like one more thing I want to talk about. I know it's kind of off topic, and I can you believe I wanted to keep this at ten minutes, Betsy? Yeah, right. You're gonna have to do can a you, lot of cutting. Uh, do you remember that? <laughs> For those of you who aren't keeping track, I'm at I'm recording right now. I'm at one hour and forty minutes, um, and I, I Betsy was recording before I was. So, whoo! Uh, I don't mind going over because this is I like where this conversation was going. Um, but anyway, I wanted to, there was one more thing I wanted to ask was uh, about Betsy's style. Um, Betsy, where'd you get your style what from? What style? Where'd you, did you pick that? <laughs> what do you mean? St shut up. I specifically pulled up a picture of your characters because I was like really excited to talk about your characters. And you're going to be like, what style? <laughs> it is. Like, but that's your voice. <laughs> I don't know. It just happened. I started off like everybody else. I liked other people's artwork, and I tried to copy them, and then I would get distracted by another person who had different style of artwork, and I tried to copy them, and in the virtue of copying upon copying upon copying, it turned into an amalgam. <laughs> Which is probably what happens with everybody. I don't know if you can hear that train in the background. 
I can't. I'm waiting until it passes, because I'm pretty sure my microphone's picking it up. You got trains in Montana? <laughs> Dude, we are a railroad town. Um, but yeah, the train has passed, and I'm... You say that you just mimicked different styles as you were going, but, uh... And I can, I can relate, because I did the, the same thing. Uh, but I mean, what were you... What were you watching that sparked you? I guess those proportions are very Sailor Moon, aren't they? Is well, the... there's a lot of 90s, <laughs> 80s, 90s anime. There is a lot of that in there. Yeah. There's um, a lot of a show called Witch, for obvious reasons. <laughs> because I tried to write a comic book for it for three years. Actually, probably more than three years, just because I... I would periodically try to finish it every once in a while. <laughs> yeah. And then book illustrations, like John Arneal is one that comes to mind. He was probably the first guy I copied that wasn't actual real life. Oh, I see. Yeah. It, well, it was more stylized, yes. I mean. Yeah. That is the 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 important element there is you like more than one thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. The lesson to take away. If you away. only like one thing, you you don't have your own style, you're probably just copying somebody else. Yeah, definitely. But if you like more than one person, and you're liking several things, or even you like something that real life does... Yeah. And you can find a way to translate it's that. it's turning into you. Definitely. Well, I think that's, that's the important bit, is that you're not just sitting there and going like, this is mine now. You're going like, oh, I see it, and I'm going to like run with it and see like if I can push it into another direction in my medium since we're in animation and you might not be pulling from mm. animation or whatnot but you'd be able to translate that um something I'm that's something I'm trying to do now <laughs> uh I don't know if you noticed you're coming along oh gee thanks mom um <laughs> I'm kidding <laughs> the um yeah I don't know if you noticed that regarding pie video had like a much I would, I, would you say like you, like you like you're an outsider looking in like would you say that style is different from my usual my usual romp? Uh, yeah, a bit. One, it's more desaturated, but that was color choice. Um, I feel like I'm going too a desaturated. Touch more simplistic. Yeah, uh, definitely. Not simplistic. Uh, minimalistic. I don't know. Yeah, I, I call it simplistic. Yeah. I just didn't know if it was coming across whenever I was doing it. You know. When I was uh, doing all the concept art, I was like, well, you know, will people even care? <laughs> will people even notice that I'm doing this? But uh, it's actually way more efficient to animate in that way than what I was doing before, which was like making sure all the lines were closed and everything was all this and that, instead of just being like, I'm going to make it a little more abstract. Which is something I'll actually... I'll either put on the screen now or I'll show... I'll just show Betsy after, but... I'm really happy with where Natural Born Suckers 3 is going because it's, it's very loose and very... I'm actually not even closing the lines. I'm painting behind the drawings because of how, how loose the lines are. And I, uh, I pulled that from... I don't know if you, if you noticed that little switch, but I pulled that from uh, Miyazaki. I was, uh, well, I was looking at a bunch of Ghibli art books, you know, and in the Porco Rosso one, he uh, he has a, a little sketch, a, little, a bunch of, oh, I'm sorry, a bunch of little sketches. And uh, one of them was this guy, and he looked like really loose drawing, but you could still tell what was going on. And I was like, I like that. I'm going to I'm gonna take that. <laughs> but naturally, you can't do that in Flash or Animate, so it looks, it looks different. It's fascinating to me what, what was the easiest thing to do in the original Tim traditional animation is now one of the more difficult things to do in digital what is in that it's more tedious well, what like is, what is, incomplete lines it occurs to me i'm like oh, oh. you can't use paint bucket with that <laughs> not very easily anyway which is much faster but in the old days you couldn't use paint bucket at all so obviously incomplete lines is actually probably takes less time yeah definitely and, in the old days than it would be now <laughs> it's i it is a lot slower um, because I have to like, and then sometimes I'll, I'll go in and I'll like, I'll use my, my line tool and I'll like make a line just to close it and then I'll fill it in and get rid of the line, you know? Um, hmm. you know, if, if, 
if the shape isn't that open, I'll do that. But sometimes I'll just I'll just paint behind the lines, and I think it looks better because of it. And I'm curious to see if the uh, if the series looks better or does better because of that. Um, but ultimately, I think the writing's gonna have to improve. I don't know. Are you are you comfy with your style, Betsy? Is there anything you want to try and push for? I just want to do different stuff all the time. <laughs> do you? Uh, I'm not gonna sit in the same style probably just because I'll get bored with it. Definitely. Well, no, I, I think I think your style is like it's evolved in a healthy way. Like uh, like I'm looking at some stuff right now that is definitely different from when you started. You, I mean, even what you were doing two years ago. You know, I think you're, you're getting into a very a comfy place that's becoming your own. Not to sound like um, um, being a suck up, I just think that. I don't want people to be like, "Wow, look at Grant totally just jerking off Betsy," and I'm like, "That's not what's happening at all." But thank you. Well, if it makes him feel better, I probably wouldn't even notice. <laughs> Betsy's like, <laughs> <laughs> uh, "Yeah, sure, okay, what?" Betsy's like, "Yeah, but what about spiders in Montana? What about the ants eating the food?" <laughs> oh. Um, I think I think we're Betsy. I think we're actually we're actually closing this thing up. I think we're finally getting to the end. Oh, know? really? We're coming to the end, are we? Uh, but yeah, I, I guess on a, on an end note, I guess the entire point of this thing was to show that like you know people like Betsy that have like these these intricate you know are these like interesting shows or these webtoons whatever you want to call them actually come from somewhere and that it's not just flippant. They don't just pull it from nowhere, you know. More like people like it me. Is. We haven't been, we haven't been kissed by the gods. <laughs> uh, Blessed to channel their, the, I don't know. <laughs> their other words, their words. Miracles. <laughs> their literary uh, miracles. But no, I, I, I just. And if we are, then it's more mundane than it looks. <laughs> that, that, if we are, then I feel like I feel like we're not doing a good enough job where we are. <laughs> But yeah, I just wanted to show that the difference between that and someone like myself who doesn't have that quite that background yet. But here we go. We're gonna give it a go anyway later. Um, but yeah, I just thought that'd be an interesting conversation. And what do you know? It sure in the heck was. I think I I, I had a good time. Same. <laughs> um, but yeah, Bessie, do you do you have anything that you would like to say before we wrap up? I think we've covered it all. I, you know what? I thought you would say that. So I guess if anyone has been sticking around this long and you have your own input, you can leave in the comments or whatever. And I'm sure Betsy's going to be uh, patrolling the comment boards as well um, for at least 15 seconds after this thing is posted. So you'll have to act quickly. Like a, like a, like a creep. Like a rock with a smiley anyway. face on it. But um, yeah, okay. So. Uh, uh, this has been Grant Woolley. This has been Betsy Lee. <laughs> Word of Noodles. Oh, yeah. And I'm Woolly World, by the way. I don't know if you got this far and you didn't realize. <laughs> but, yeah. We'll, uh, we'll see you later. Bye-bye. <laughs>